right guys this is the beautiful boxwood hedge that i'm going to be using for dakota's birthday party backdrop this amazing company on amazon sent me two cases to use and i was just shy one piece over in that right corner from being able to do a complete 8 by 10 square but the good thing is i have all those animals up to up front in the backdrop and i'll be able to hide that square behind there as well as with the balloon garland that i'm going to be putting on this backdrop it's very easy to put together. The square pieces come in that same size that's missing and you just snap them together and you can create any shape that you want with them. So be sure to check out the link that I'm gonna put in the description box if you're interested in purchasing. They also have other designs. So what I'm doing here is just taking the crossbar for my pipe and drape set and laying it out to get it spaced where I want it so that I can start to attach my zip ties to it. The zip ties came with the boxwood hedge which is awesome so you don't have to worry about making an extra purchase and what I'm going to do is simply take the zip ties and attach the boxwood hedge directly to the crossbar all right so here I am all I'm doing is taking the zip ties sticking it through the boxwood hedge grates in the back and then looping it around the crossbar and pulling the zip tie to secure it to the crossbar it's very simple to do and I am showing you the guys this in real time because I wanted you to see that it is pretty simple and it's I mean I did it pretty fast seems drawn out because I'm sure you're like girl let's get to this next step but I really wanted you guys to be able to understand exactly how to do it um, I didn't have an exact measurement for spacing I just did it so just enough just to make sure that the boxwood hedge didn't have any type of lag um, in between the crossbar and the boxwood hedge if that makes sense for you I just wanted it to go straight across and look like it was really attached to the crossbar. So once I got all my zip ties to put on, I was finished just in enough time to have Babe help me before he walked out the door to go to work. So after we got everything moved, I'm going to show you how we got this hung up. So I did have to use my step ladder because my pipe and drape set is a eight by 10 square. And all you do is take the ends of the crossbar that has hooks and you stick them in the grooves that are inside of the poles for the pipe and drape set. And all done, simple as that. So now I have to just do a quick little spot clean to get everything back in place. All right guys, so now this is where we are. Um, again, I have to do my balloons and then I have this sign here. Uh-oh, this sign that I probably should have hung <laughs> before I put all this stuff back in the way, but it's okay because the desserts aren't here just yet. I'm going to pick those up later on today and then the cake will be here tomorrow, but that's besides the point. I'm just thinking out loud at this point. Um, so yeah, so what I'm about to do now is do the sign, um, hang my sign. And someone did actually DM me about how I actually hang them in cool thing is I'll show you guys today so let me show you guys my side. my side is actually just foam board that I cut a circle out of using my exacto knife and so what I'm gonna do is take my wreath hanger that I purchased from the Dollar Tree I'm gonna find that and show it to you guys Dakota has stolen it from me so I'll be right back all right guys so I found it this is the door hanger I believe I got this from either Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby it was only like a dollar or something two dollars at the most and then what I'm gonna use is duct tape, heavy duty Scott shipping tape, and I'm gonna tape it to the back of the sign. I'm gonna gently turn it over. To attach the wreath hanger to the door, I'm just gonna use some good old Scotch tape and I'm going to apply it on a few places just to ensure that it does not fall. The sign is pretty lightweight, so it should just be just fine. If you prefer, you can use hot glue or some other type of method to secure it to there. 
but for now scotch tape is going to be my method for today. So the number two I actually got from Hobby Lobby. It was in the um, chipboard area, $7.99. Used my 40% off coupon, and I got it for like $4 and change. And again, I ordered the W from an Etsy shop and Lane 2 um, that I linked for her name that I used at her party last year, as well as the name I ordered from um, for the Maya Luau baby shower. Yeah, so. I just hot glue these onto the foam board, cut it out in a circle, hot glue these on here, and now I'm gonna hang it. And this is the paint that I use to get that color. It's called Desert Rose High Gloss. And it's actually Rust-Oleum spray paint that I used. So I showed you guys on my other video I did on my boxwood hedge how the back looks. So this is the grates that are in there is what I actually use to hook the back of that um, onto. See how my finger just kind of comes through here? And it came out super cute, guys. So far, so good. Okay, I'm already finding pictures. Super cute. Ooh, and the cake is that's gonna be so cute. So this is what we have so far. All I have to do is do the balloons and your girl is about to start those in a little while. It's gonna be the last thing that I do. So yeah, this is what we have going on. I am loving this sign. Yes, birthday girl. I don't even think she knows what's going on, y'all. Hey y'all, so I am back. <clears throat> so last time you guys saw me, I put the backdrop together that you see over there, and now we're working on balloons. I didn't necessarily want to vlog all of that because you guys have seen me do balloons a gazillion times, so by now I think you guys should have the concept of putting them together, but I do want to show you guys how I'm doing it because I have so many colors in this party. What I decided to do was to go section by section, so let me turn the camera around. So starting off with the black balloons, I've already started stringing them together. My string here, and then this is my first cluster. So what I'm gonna do is do color. I'm not gonna mix all the colors, and I'm gonna do them by section. So the next color I'm working on right now is the purple balloons. So I blew up a few of those, and I am now about to start attaching them to see exactly how many I need. I ordered so many balloons that I don't really think I'm gonna need all of these. But what I wanna do is go ahead and get done what needs to be done and then I'm going to come back and whatever extra balloons I have, I'll just go crazy with the balloons. But I wanna make sure I get done what needs to be done. And the main thing I wanna to do today is get the balloons done around the backdrop and then I wanna put some balloons around this um, streamer backdrop as well. So yeah, so stay tuned guys. So to attach the balloon garland to the pipe and drape set, I took some balloon string and I tied it around the center of the balloons. If you saw when I gave it kind of like a bear hug, I was wrapping it around and then I tied a tight knot to the pipe and drape set. The balloons are pretty light so it doesn't take much to hold them in place. I normally use zip ties but this time there were way too many balloons for that. Alright guys, so as you can see I just hung up some of the balloons. These are the colors that I've got done so far. I have black, purple, blue, and yellow going on right now. So I'm just gonna start off with black and do the other side and then fill in the middle with 
whatever I'm thinking about. Two colors will probably go across the top, which works out perfect because I think I have red, orange, green, and pink left. So I'll do black with one, two, and then three, and then whatever's left will fill in the middle. It's actually working out perfect, and I have enough balloons to do centerpieces and the top of that, so. I'll be back, guys. forgot I was vlogging I did go ahead and get the other side of balloons up I don't know guys uh, the last color I have to go in the middle is orange but I wish I had broke up this pink red and orange some because they look this is supposed to be pink what do you guys think does it look pink to you I mean I know you're not here to help me out now but if you can see it does have like a pink glow to it but it makes it almost look like I have a lot of red let me come back and see whatever it is what it is. It's here and I think it's still cute. So I'm just gonna blow up some orange ones and attach them up there at the top and I'll be back once I finish. If you guys are here, let me show you the table and chair guys came with um, the seating for the kids. It is so cute. Let me show you. How stinking cute are these chairs? They almost look like those balloons, um, but they are hot pink ghost chairs. And then those are the two kids tables. I'm gonna bring that stuff in. Um, once I finish getting all the balloons blown up and out of the way. All right guys, so I am back and this is what it looks like now. So I really do love it. All I have to do in a little while, once my mom and dad get here from out of town, I'm gonna leave Dakota with them. I'm gonna run and pick up the desserts that are gonna go here, here, here. And then the cake, my husband is picking up tomorrow and you guys will see the final look on her actual birthday vlog. But I did wanna share because I figured you guys would have tons of questions, but this is basically how to do the grass backdrop using the pipe and drape set with balloons. And yeah, I love how it came out. I gotta get those toys out of the corner over there, but. Now I'm gonna work on the balloons that are gonna go in front of this and I'll show you guys the finished product for that. And I'll get those tables and chairs I showed you guys that got delivered earlier, moved in here, decorated. All right guys, I know it looked a hot mess, but you know you've seen that I've been very busy setting this stuff up for Dakota's party. So I hope that you guys were able to get something out of it. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment below down in the comment box and I will be sure to try to get back with you guys as I always do. And I have to do this video. I'm showing you guys, well I'm finished with this one now, how to do this setup. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I actually made this on another vlog, super fun. But love you guys, see you next time and hello.